another video Number. featuring Naisha and we're, we're waiting for her page you know patiently oh, yes. patiently <laughs> good things take time good things take time I'm sorry guys I'm going I'm going to start um, I'm just going through some things in the household but we will get we will get together I gotta find something I gotta find my background stuff so I'll get it soon. Okay. Right. Just all right. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. So <laughs> yes, this video is a spicy. <sighs> so we gotta. I'm kind of scared gotta, though. We got questions as to what questions will come out because uh, we got questions know. and we got drinks to match. You know. Oh, I love this cup though. A cup. Real, real like October, Halloween ish. It's if y'all could see that, it's crazy. It's like a hand. That shit is crazy. Um, I like. Um, that was good. We are drinking New Amsterdam. We have a couple things out here. Smirnoff and all that. Yeah, all that. We, we got a, a mix of, of stuff. We might. And we got the tree tree. I might be. I might be late to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But. And we got be late tomorrow. and we got some cookies some cookies um so yeah so this video is spicy i feel like okay um this video is spicy because <laughs> we got a cup Camera. of spicy questions and i am excited but then again i am fucking scared <laughs> now we're going to read all the questions, mm -hmm. but we don't have to answer all of them. Right. So if you don't want to answer them, you take a sip of your drink. Yes. If you answer them, you're not required to take a drink. <laughs> a sip. You could sip if you want to, but you're not required. Um, some, so whoever, whoever picks up the paper reads it. Okay. That person is obligated to answer the question or take a drink. Okay. But... If I read a question and you want to answer, or if you read a question and I want to answer, that could still happen. Like, we could still answer the okay. question, both. Okay. But, all right. So, <laughs> who wants to go first? Oh, you want to go first? All right, I'm, I'm going to go first. Go and these are questions that our friends and family sent us. Facebook friends, too. Oh. And a disclaimer, um, oh, yeah, mom, <laughs> don't watch the rest and of the you video. know, the, the children, if you are 17 and down and under, you're not supposed to be on here, it's only 18 and over. So, if you're here, bye -bye. yeah, okay, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. If you, if you, if you was an adult when I was a child, exactly, just, just get out, get out the video. <laughs> just Exit. get out the video because yeah i mean my friends and fam i mean yeah friends and family that's around my age know what i'm about yes but <laughs> the adults yeah yeah might y'all might be giving me a side <laughs> eye after this exactly um so right. the first question <laughs> yes. the first question is are you able to put your toes in your mouth <laughs> Um, one, I don't think I've tried to do that, but I'm not as flexible as I used to be, so I don't think I could do that right now, unless it's, like, forced, because, like, it probably stops, like, right there, but, like, somebody has to, I don't if, if you get what I'm, whatever. So, the answer is no. Um, not that I have tried. I don't even think I can. Like I, and I, I don't, don't want to. No. No, no. I don't want to. No. And I don't want to. <laughs> That's just fucking nasty. I'm going to put the questions that we read right Sorry. there. Next question. 
you, All right, let's your go. turn. Your turn. I'm kind of scared about this one because I just. <laughs> Yeah, because let me ask the like, questions. Um, ah! Da, da. Why did I have to get this one? Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, it says. <clears throat> if I n in your mouth, what's your next move? So this was from a friend. I, I this was this is from a friend that wanted to uh, answer for me. Okay, you can take okay, a sip. Okay, okay. Or you okay. can just no, no. I'll, I'll I'll say it. I'll say it. <laughs> um, I don't see you like that. Like it's not no. Like you're a cool person and all. Like I like your vibe. Like we chilled a little bit, but for you to knock my mouth. No. Isn't that like kind of like um that's disrespectful. Isn't that I like mean, like a boyfriend yes, a boyfriend that's level? Boyfriend level and because you can't be doing that with everything. You're not my boyfriend. Okay. And on top of that, it's like that's disrespectful. Like who the fuck do you think I am? Who the fuck do you think I'm real? You think I'm a hood rat? You thought I was a hood rat. No. A bitch got standards. So no and my next move would be never thank you have a great one <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> all right um i'll pray because some of these questions are crazy all right <laughs> this is gonna crazy. i was freaking hoping that i was not oh. gonna get this question all right the next question is have you ever caught your parent in the act what did you say or do? <laughs> Have you? So I'm I'm not gonna say which parent it is. I'm okay. not gonna say which parent it is because I'm not I'm not even gonna blow their spot. I think I'm gonna But is. this yes and and no. Cause I didn't see it clear mm. because it was dark. Uh -huh. But I know what, what was going on. Mm -hmm. I'm traumatized. Mm -hmm. Um and at that time, I, I was upset. I was upset. And we kind of got into a back and forth. But that parents did not really, like, take it, take it serious. But I was upset for a specific reason. You know, because I know that that's, it's human. People do that, whatever. Yeah. Cool. But it was a specific reason why I was upset. Mm -hmm. And yes. So the answer is yes. I have. I'm traumatized. And I was hoping I didn't get that question, but I did. Well, but yeah. I have plenty of times. <laughs> um, my mom and my dad. It's not, um, it's not cute. My mom, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was getting it in. And, um,. I think that's where I get it from. So. <laughs> Yo. I mean, you know, I get it from her. I can't blame her. Next question. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, my eyes. I think that's that. I should have taken in. Yeah. Take it in. I could feel it too. I mean, have you ever had a crush on a friend's parent? No. Oh, but that's your question. I think no. No. I've seen some of my friend's parents and I'd be like, you know, this man is attractive. Mm -hmm. But I would never have a crush on them. Me you know why? I don't cross those boundaries. Those are boundaries that's never, well, that never can't be crossed. I feel you. And I think that's just nasty. Like, just dating your best friends or friends fucking 
dad. Disgusting. Have you? No. I think those those boundaries, but I feel like you know they I, be some fire ass fucks. Bro. I but, I know I know, but you know? I don't. First, I don't think I. I think this is what it is. Like in my head. Mm -hmm. Once a friend tells me, "Oh, this is my father," it's like there's they like it's something. It. It's like something in my head that's like you can't even you can't even see that person mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. It's like you know whatever. But I mean, if they're handsome, but I things, feel like you're handsome. Bro. Yeah. But other than that, it's like I would never have yeah. sex or kiss or you know that's just not me. Yeah. It's not me. I mean, things happen with other people. Right. Like, some people are okay with it. But I unless just, it's a different story, like I didn't know you was the pop, right? Or I didn't know you, you know, shit yeah. like that. Cause stuff like that happens. That happens. Where but, like two people meet, mm -hmm. and then months later, a year later, they'd be like, "Oh shoot, you this person's dad," you exactly. know. So well, I would never do it. But in that case, it's just like it's like oh, you didn't know, right? But you already developed feelings, but like. Right. Off rip? No, I, that never happened to me. Right. All right. Next question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Every time I pick one, I'll be you look scared. Pretty, by the way. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. What is the grossest thing that's come out of your body? And only from my pregnant mamas out there they may understand i mean everyone's look different mm -hmm. but the mucus plug yes it was disgusting yeah i i i wiped mm -hmm. I, it came out and i said mm -hmm. but i would say that mm -hmm. everything else is like natural stuff like everyone takes the shit right, everyone right. pees everybody whatever right but like the mucus plug it was disgusting yeah I was just I was just looking at the tissue for Mad Long. Right. And then I was like, dang, that means I'm about to be in labor. Soon. Yeah. It doesn't always come right away, but yep. yeah. Shit. Let me stop. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, whatever that is, is clicking in. Okay, what family member do you feel closest to? So Damn, this one hit hard. Mm-hmm. This one really hit hard because all I have is my sisters. For right, like you know, I have my sisters. Um, father, my father. I I can be close to all of them. I was about to say that was going to be part of my answer, and I'm gonna tell you why in a different way. Um. Because one can have qualities that I like, or we could talk about something that I like, and we could go on and on and on and on and on and on with the conversation, and you know, we just don't have no bad blood. But when we fight, we fight. Yeah. You know, when we have arguments, we have arguments. It is what it is. We all have that. Every, everybody. I don't give a fuck if you're rich, if you're poor, whatever. My second sister we have like a connection with like music we have a connection with like hair and nails and and things like that with clothes my first sister we have like a connection with like our past like mm -hmm. what we remember and things like that so i can't say that i'm not close to all of them i am close but it's like certain categories mm -hmm. in certain ways i'm really really close to my father Shout out to my father. I'm his only child. He spoils me. And he's the he's been the best father ever. Like anything that I needed, he got it. Anything that I needed for my for my daughter, he had it. So that's what I love about him and that's why I'm so close to him. But other than that, it's like it's it depends. Yeah. I Go feel ahead. like I feel like the same. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm close to each sibling in a different way for a different different reason. Different reason, yeah. And then with each parent for a different reason. Right. But and I hope I and hope, me and I my hope mom, everyone me and my oh, mom yes. was not that close. Oh, I mean we were close, you know. But I feel like after she passed away, 
I can feel her presence more. We're more close. We're close because I could feel her. Mm -hmm. Like we're like this. And when when I when I start getting at people, that's my mom. Yeah. Just know that. So, all right, go ahead. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope no one say like again. I'm close with everyone for a different reason. Mm -hmm. But and I hope when I do say this person's name that everyone understands why I say it um, but I feel like the closest I'm with is Jamila mm -hmm. because I, mean, I feel, like, girl, I feel like we understand each other we call each other for certain things she knows if she tells me something I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go gossip with the family right. about it whatever this is just um, this one is yeah this one. and we have like a feminine connection, but then we have a sibling connection. Right. Like, I don't know how to. I, I, I'm not I gonna get. get, get now. Yeah, I'm not gonna that. get too deep I get into it. it, but yeah. I get it. Yeah. You know, I so get I feel it, like I get it, I get it. Jamila and I are the closest. Um. Because Jamila, yeah. you're, not, you're, you're both are two females, and you both you both have the same like mostly the same in common, and then on top of that, you have the same mom. Mm. Yeah, see each other all the time. So I get it. Now I feel like we already get got through like the okay questions and we're getting into like the the deep ones. So I keep getting scared every time I pick one up. Lord. What's the most times you've had sex in one day? <sighs> now I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say who okay. but I feel like with that person it was probably like nine times in one day Shit. like wake up to go to sleep the whole like you know me <laughs> I'm a freak so I have sex a lot with the the partner that I have now. Um, he likes to have sex. When I say sex, he wants to do it like four or five times. So him, he he does it like six times. We do it like six times, and I can't even keep up with him. Like that's that's how. He, let me not let me not tell him he's in his age, but older or younger. Okay. Six times. <laughs> yeah. How has your life changed after after the pandemic? Let me see. It didn't really affect much. Um, which is a good thing for you, cause yeah. for some people it it lost like a lot of mad people, yeah, family members. And um, I just feel like it affected more of my money to go up. Um, like my money went up. Um. Hmm. I didn't have to work. I didn't mm -hmm. have to worry about the bills. I didn't have to worry about, um, you know, traveling, going to work. Mm -hmm. I was just living my life at that time. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I was. I didn't get sick at all by that time. Yeah. So it was weird for me. I would say most of the pandemic, I didn't have to work, but I ended up going back to work. Yeah, we had to go um, back to work. Oh. And then, uh, I would say that the pandemic made me tap into my creative side. Right. Um, I was able to buy like certain things and explore and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like on the downside, it has affected me. Um, my mental. Because right. everything I see is like germs, germs. I right. think cool. Like that too. That wearing too. a mask, everything. Right. Like 
I just be and I feel like I don't know if you guys know this, but like before the pandemic, if somebody sneezed, everyone would be saying bless you. Blush, yeah. But like you now sneeze now in the train, everybody's just looking at you like and running. Or they don't even say anything. So I feel like in that kind of way it has changed. Just like the way that I see people, the way that I'm looking like Mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to get sick Right Because now they don't even pay you if, if you have COVID Exactly if you have COVID You got to stay home gotta And stay no home pay With no pay That shit is crazy Like Some some jobs still Like will pay, pay you, you. Pay. But that's sick man But like Exactly It should be separate That shit ain't nothing But For me It was just like I was just sitting there lovely With my money like I don't know and it's like and it's like I'm I'm you know I'm sorry but the, for the covid victims and everything I really am sorry and I pay respect to everyone that had a, had a loved one that suffered from it or died from it I praise to you you know praise God I hope all the blessings and everything but like in my perspective it didn't really change anything but my money going up Mm -hmm. And not me having to worry or second guess, um, you know, mm -hmm. my material side. And on top of that, I could, I could, I, I got everything that I wanted. So that's just is how it changed me. But other than that, it's just like it was the same shit. Mm -hmm.